New at 11 and 11, a live reveal investigation uncovers claims that the CDC is actually breaking the law. The allegation comes from a blind worker who says the agency is not giving him proper accommodations. Reveal investigator Andy Parati explains that this claim is not the first. Listen carefully and you'll hear a blind man reading. That's 600 words a minute, minimum. Most of us read about 200 words per minute. I would take a nap. He can't see the words, but this software program allows blind users like Michael to read text on computer screens through a speech synthesizer. You can actually understand that? You can't? No. Yeah, I can. This is incredible. And this is what people are missing out by not hiring blind people. So when Michael, who asked us not to use his last name, landed a job at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in 2019 as an attorney, it was a big deal. Within six months, the agency promoted him. His annual review, nearly a perfect score, four and a half out of five. Michael's supervisor even wrote, I have no reservations, giving him my highest recommendation. Once hopeful he'd one day retire from the CDC, Michael is about to leave his dream job after he claims the agency repeatedly failed to accommodate his disability. The alleged discrimination started with simple requests, like joining co-workers on work assignments. So we were supposed to go take a tour of a lab in February of 2020. When they found out a blind person was going to come, they canceled the trip. Soon after, he discovered a software program the CDC required him to use did not work with his screen reader. The company acknowledged the deficiency in this email writing, our application is not 508 compliant, the federal law known as the Rehabilitation Act which in plain words states, if you're going to buy something, you got to make sure that everybody can use it. When they recognized that it was not compliant, how did they react? They've avoided it. And the agency avoided our questions too, declining interview requests for this story. Michael's claims of disability discrimination at the CDC are not alone. I've seen them do it to so many other employees, including me. Pam Gillis is a former CDC union president. In 2017, she and six other current and former agency employees with disabilities told the reveal the CDC repeatedly ignored their request for accommodations. Angie Foco and Pam, both hearing impaired, claimed the CDC rarely provided closed captioning and training videos. So other employees know what's being said. I don't. At the time, we uncovered the CDC's Equal Employment Opportunity website didn't identify disability as a form of discrimination. In a form specifically set up to address disability access and accommodations, told its hearing impaired employees that closed captioning would not be available. Reginald Maybean was the EEO director then and holds the title today. If you were a person that was hard of hearing and you read that, that closed captioning wasn't going to be provided, how would you feel? Of course, I would feel left out to some extent. Some extent? Yes. I, I would hope that people would now know what the agency's about ready to lose, because I'm probably going to be leaving. This is a big mistake. Five years ago, a diversity and inclusion audit of the agency showed CDC employees with disabilities tended to be viewed significantly less favorable compared to able-bodied employees. When we asked the CDC if it performed another audit since then, it didn't respond. To read more about similar claims in our series, Diagnosing Discrimination, go to this story on 11alive.com.